Chicago, Chi Town, baby. There you go, yeah. man. They're still cold. I just yeah. got them at the Harvey's, you know? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, mate. Um, like, that's all I can do you, man, because, like. Oh, that's great. Chi Town is my favorite. Yeah, I don't bring too much cash, you know, because I end up. I end up blowing it right with the cards you know it's yeah. a limit and stuff right. yeah, yeah man yeah enjoy brother yeah look after yourself Love yeah man oh. <laughs> it, it, it's a little busier it's a little busier than down down here but <laughs> I'm enjoying the the tranquility you know the nice and peaceful down here oh all right brother look look out look after yourself man Yeah, so what can I do? Um, what can I do about these uh, homeless guys? Like, I ain't got no money, so I'm just gonna give them. Well, I gave them those strawberries. Um, but I guess for him, uh, I guess, you know, for him, that's definitely a, a treat, you know, because he's gonna get some water in him, he's gonna get some sugar in him. Um, even though they did spill on the floor um but hey guys you know this is this is the this is why i love exploring cities on on a on a little bicycle you know on a little folding bike because of little gestures like this you know um i mean uh, you know some some hardcore guys can say like hey you got you know you got two arms you got two legs you know and all that so you know and there's there's jobs but hey you know it's not as easy as it may seem for someone basically you know it's not just physical it it could be it could be mental it could be uh, you know other other things than that you know um man these birds are everywhere and they're like chirping at me Um, oh shit. Oh, that's not, that's not something you want to do. Ooh. That's definitely not something you want to do. Basically, that sheriff was in that far lane and he was making a left, uh, which is the only left hand turning lane there. And then this guy came from the middle lane and just bam, almost, almost made, made, a, made a bam. Um, well, because basically that sheriff, if he hadn't, if he hadn't acted um yeah if he hadn't acted as quickly as he had um he would have smashed right into that guy man did you guys uh, well i'm sure you guys probably seen most of it on the on the camera but um but yeah certainly certainly that middle lane is is a straightforward going through lane um so yeah so this sheriff's protecting himself now he's gonna put on a blue i think he might have been off duty maybe so he's putting on his vest One thing I would say is that he he can give him probably like a false lane, like a wrong wrong law wrong lane usage or something like that, because um, it was it would be detrimental. Like if he had enacted the way he did.
Hey man, good reflex. I saw all of that, man. Well, no idea how well done, man. I applaud you. Thank you for your service, sir. Thank you, bro. Um, so yeah, guys, yeah, I'm gonna leave him to it because you, you don't want to be, you guys don't want to be impeding. Um, you know, even though we caught it on camera, I just wanted to tell that officer, man, that that's these guys. They have to put up with stuff like that all the time. Where. Wow, look at this, guys. The Lee Gate Glass Company. But, uh, but look at this. Uh, this is obviously, guys, this mural is obviously um, probably sanctioned by the city of Jacksonville because right here there's a sign defacing public art is a felony. And then, you know, you got all these beautiful murals here of you know what it is like okay gray's bio is an illustrator um yeah peter Locke was an mc dj producer who moved to jacksonville to build his professional career all right so <clears throat> um jerobe white so right so this is like a little plaque to peyton Locke, 1979 to 219 he recently passed um, his group Asimov in the early 2000s before his family was collaborative with Dress, Gyro B. White and the Perceptionists and Aiden among others. So yeah, this is a little mural. So this guy's called uh, Blonde Blake, Arthur Blake. Not to be confused with Arthur Blake, the guy, um, Arthur Blank who started Home Depot. <laughs> um, so this guy was an American blues and ragtime rag singer and guitarist, early morning blues. Um, uh, so yeah, this is a little like a uh, little history walk here of local artists and Amelia's Dekagraf, born in Nigeria, founding me member of the Cultural Development Corporation here. Um, and there he is himself, Ray Charles, 1930, started his professional career in Jacksonville at the age of 15. Wow. So I didn't know that Ray Charles was a uh, homegrown, uh, homegrown talent. Maybe, maybe he didn't, wasn't born here, but he definitely started his career here, um, playing piano at the age of 15. So yeah guys, um, yeah, I'm feeling a little bit of the pain in the muscular area right now. It's probably from all that sun. <coughs> um, <coughs> and then, um, and then yeah, there's more pain in the chest. So I think guys, really, really slowly, we're gonna have to call it a day here um, because I just want to make sure that I'm in bed by like 7 um, you know have a nice 12 13 14 hour lie-in 